All right, this is the A44 series karambit from MTEC USA. I got this off Amazon about a year ago for about $13 US. The blade material is some sort of 440 stainless, so they say. I did a full reprofile on this blade uh, going across the entire edge, found out a couple things. First of all, it does not feel like the steel was hardened. It's very soft, comes off very quickly. I did it very rough just because I immediately realized that I wasn't going to care about it very much. It's not something that's going to hold its edge, I guarantee you that. It can cut, but uh, yeah, wasn't wasn't that uh, uh, confidence inspiring. Also, the angle from the factory, I kept the original angle of that, that grind there, and it was 30 degrees per side, exactly, which is extremely steep. It's almost like an axe. So, mm, when it comes to use for this, right from the start, I can say that this is going to be mostly a novelty item. It can cut. It absolutely can cut. Just about anything can cut. But uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone purchase this uh, to use on a regular basis. It's a novelty item. And that's exactly why I got it, but I was hoping for something a little better than this. MTech has, has made 440 blades that are definitely much better than this, that have better metal and or are at least hardened. Beyond that, this is a spring-assisted flipper. That action works just fine. It locks up securely even if I don't give it too much of a flick, so safety-wise I think that it's not going to get anybody hurt from failures, hopefully. There's a tiny little bit of play in the blade. A tiny bit. I mean, it's not real play, but you can kind of move it back and forth. Not uh, in an open area, but just bending the components in there ever, ever so slightly. The, uh, the pivot is nice and tight, maybe even a little bit tighter than I typically would like, but the spring is strong enough to overcome that easily. Pocket clip here. And, uh, you know, it's a liner lock, metal, metal liners. This is some sort of composite, I believe, on the outside. Although I didn't, I didn't uh, cut into it to verify that. It does feel, now that I think about it, it does feel a little bit heavy for a composite. But this is just a, a, uh, a water dip uh, application of the design. It has some little dragons on it. And they made different colors of them. As of the time of the recording of this video, I haven't found this one, which is considered blue. It's the A8. 44 BL. I uh, have, haven't seen this exact one on, on Amazon right now, but various other places have it as well. Uh, yeah, pure novelty item for sure. You can use it. Ergonomics are okay on the, the, Western, uh, the Western hold. This is actually a nice cutout right here for the thumb to choke up on it to you know get in close, and it has a good guard. Uh, finger guard for the index finger. The liner is just stamped and as a result one side of it uh, has a little bit of, of sharpness on each of the little little rounds of the jimping in there. So it's not the most comfortable thing to feel. Unfortunately the it was stamped from this side over here so it's a little bit smoother from here but when you put it if you're a righty you put it in your hand you're putting a little bit more pressure that way so you're going against the the sharp edge there so that it's not the most comfortable thing right in there but it's not really going to cut in it just doesn't feel quite right if you go with the traditional fighting style hold for the you know for for a karambit uh, this doesn't this is not a confidence inspiring hold and i'm not able to get it closer to a proper alignment with the with the knuckles like you want for actually you know, using one of these things in a, a fighting style, because, I mean, you look at that when I try to rotate it around. It's mostly the distance right he here. If you put a line going straight across from this this lower, lower, basically it's right where your, your uh, pinky finger comes in and, and gets a hold. But if you draw a line across there, there's a, quite a bit of distance there back to the, the spine of, of the handle. And uh, that just doesn't let you get a good backhanded grip but fortunately it's a lot better this way there's just enough hold that you can get around this side is something about the way the anatomy works anyway it's usable it's usable but it's not good it's not high quality stuff it's not something that's going to last not something that you're going to want to use very frequently in my opinion <laughs> 